would have thought that Bruce Banner's cousin would get her show. And yet here we are, on the verge of a new set of stories and a brand new superhero. As part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 4, the series was teased for a while now, and as of this year, we even got to see the first footage of She-Hulk. So if you want to see all of that and more, keep watching as we tell you all about the She-Hulk series. Who is She-Hulk? Out? Yeah, Mom. Thanks. Though it doesn't matter anymore. This gamma tide is going... If you're a huge fan of the Marvel comics and you know each character, then you've probably heard about She-Hulk. The first time we got to see and hear about this character was in 1979 in the Savage She-Hulk No. 1 comic book, created by Stan Lee and artist John Buscema. She's an extremely intelligent lawyer who helps various Marvel superheroes by giving them legal aid. Her first appearance reveals her origin story and that she's Bruce Banner's cousin who's gunned down by a crime boss with a vendetta against her. When the series was revealed, it has been said that it'll stick closely to the comic book describing Jennifer Walters as a lawyer who specializes in superhuman-oriented legal cases. Even though from the comics, we know how she became She-Hulk by Bruce performing an emergency blood transfusion to save her life, which ends up passing some gamma radiation onto her, we don't know every detail about her backstory and we hope that this series will reveal it to us. Just like her cousin, Walters is super strong, green and heals fast, but unlike him, she doesn't have anger issues, which help her control her transformation and has allowed her to keep her job as a lawyer. She managed to retain her intelligence and emotional control when she turned to She-Hulk instead of a dangerous green giant. As it was said, the series will follow her origin story, but we hope to see each detail of how Walters became the She-Hulk and where will Hulk fit into it. Release Date The age of biotechnology is upon us. Now, this one is tricky. The MCU did reveal that She-Hulk will be a part of Phase 4 among the Eternals, the Marvels and Thor Love and Thunder, and while we know that all of these movies and shows are premiering in 2021 and 2022, we don't know when exactly will the She-Hulk TV show premiere. The series will be premiering on the Disney Plus streaming service along with some other MCU movies and series such as Moon Knight. When Disney Plus announced Moon Knight, the very same day they revealed the She-Hulk series, saying that the original series will be arriving very soon, it's expected to arrive sometime in 2022 since it's part of Phase 4 unless something unexpected happens that'll put a pause on the production. The entire show is being led by an all-female team, including Jessica Gao, who won an Emmy Award for writing the Rick and Morty episode Pickle, Rick. Gao is the head writer on the show alongside Kat Koiro and Anu Valley as directors. The series will consist of 10 episodes, each one being half hour long, that'll add up to about 6 hours of TV. For now, all we have is the Disney Plus coming soon announcement and we hope that it'll quickly change to an actual release date. As of now, She-Hulk is already in production, but we're unaware whether they have completely wrapped up everything. According to many, the series should be released at the same time as Miss Marvel and Moon Knight, so the earliest we might get it is early 2022. Cast we already have a pretty good insight on the cast of She-Hulk with Tatiana Maslany, who you might know from Orphan Black in the leading role of Jennifer Walters. Alongside Maslany, we'll get to see Mark Ruffalo reprise his role as Bruce Banner, Jennifer Walters' cousin. We don't know if Ruffalo will return as a major role or will he only have a cameo. But we're excited to see the cousins together. Another cast member that will become a part of the She-Hulk world is actor Tim Roth, who will reprise his role as the Abomination which was last seen in Incredible Hulk. Even though this show has few actors coming back to play their roles, there are also a bunch of new cast members that are just stepping into the MCU besides Miss Lani. One of them is Ginger Gonzaga, who will play Walter's best friend and even though an official name for the character hasn't been revealed, many assume it will be Jill Stevens, who is a childhood friend of Jennifer. Also joining the cast, we have Elise Goldsberry, who will play a character named Amelia and the Good Place star Jamila Jamil, who will also be joining the cast with a major role as Walter's nemesis, Titania. She presents a woman who gained her powers from Doctor Doom and is a long-term rival of She-Hulk. There are yet a few more people to be added to the cast, but we'll know more about the actors and the roles in the future. Plot so far, we know that the series will tell the origin story of Jennifer Walters and how she became She-Hulk. It'll also follow her life as she tries to find the balance between being a lawyer and doing her duty as a superhero, fighting off bad guys. 
Just like other Marvel superheroes, She-Hulk is also keeping his powers a secret from the world. According to the comics, Jennifer gets her powers from an emergency blood transfusion from her cousin, Bruce Banner, who is already Hulk. Due to that, he transferred his powers in her DNA and allowed her to gain all the superpowers he had, well, minus all the anger. However, we don't really know how closely the series will follow the comics, but according to Feige, the show will be a legal comedy and even promises to be faithful to the comics. Kevin Feige has also said that the series will focus on a woman who tries to navigate the world and be taken seriously as a working professional despite being extremely strong and green. We already know that a few characters are making a comeback, such as Hulk and the Abomination, which would create a world of chaos in the series, where She-Hulk might have to team up with Hulk to save the world. Another actor that was revealed, which would be the first time this character has appeared on the big screen, is Titania, which is Jennifer's biggest nemesis. We do expect to see at least a few fights between the two of them, but we can't wait to see how the story will follow. Walters is also expected to make the crossover into MCU movies. After the 10-episode series is done and shows the origin story of Walters, she could move to the big screen and connect some dots between the bigger stories erupting in the MCU. Teaser Trader don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. As the second anniversary of Disney Plus came, there was a Disney Plus Day, which was an event dedicated to announcing new movies, series, and even some trailers and teasers. And you guessed it, they showed a short, almost 30 seconds teaser of the upcoming She Hulk series. In it, we got the first glimpse of Tatiana Maslani as She Hulk, but they didn't reveal her face while she was all green. Also in the footage, we get to see Bruce Banner played by Mark Ruffalo while he's already transformed into the Hulk. In a short scene, we see Walters closed in a room as the Hulk tells her about the transformations and how anger triggers them. We still don't know how they'll go about her story, but it seems like she'll have a lot of help from her cousin Hulk, who can guide her through the process. In the teaser, we got to see Walter transformed into She-Hulk while keeping her face away from the camera, which made fans start questioning what she'll look like. The short teaser footage ends with Walters warning TV viewers not to make her angry by saying, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry, which is a reference to the last time a Hulk character was involved in a live-action TV series in 1978. This footage has made us excited for the new show, and even though we don't have a full trailer, we are certain that the series will live up to our expectations of She-Hulk. On a related note, we wanted to know, what are your thoughts about the upcoming She-Hulk series? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching, guys!